dropshipping is dead. That's what people have been saying since 2018. A once goldmine for many young entrepreneurs, and you've seen the gurus on TikTok, IG, and YouTube flexing their cars, money, and jet set lifestyle. But the burning question still remains. Is dropshipping still worth it in 2023? My name's Harry, I'm a multi seven figure dropshipper and in today's video, I'm gonna sift through all of the rumors and give you the raw, unfiltered truth as someone who's been in the game for many years. With strategies quickly outdating and things always changing, what does this mean for you? Can you still make money with dropshipping in 2023 or are you chasing fool's gold? In this video, we'll uncover the truth and go down the rabbit hole. So with that being said, let's get into it. Now, before we can look forward, let's take a step back to see how dropshipping became what it is today. You see, platforms like Shopify made it extremely easy for anyone to create an online store within 24 hours without having any experience whatsoever. Savvy marketers quickly realized that they could use traffic sources like Facebook ads while sourcing products from AliExpress that they could dropship directly to the customer and make a profit. Dropshipping meant that you could get up and running with literally zero startup capital. You didn't need to invest in anything upfront and you didn't have to deal with any of the complexities of shipping and logistics. Although the model itself had been around for ages, it was now more accessible than ever. All you pretty much needed to get up and running was a laptop, a Wi-Fi, and some common sense. Over the years, the trend of dropshipping absolutely exploded, with countless of overnight success stories popping up left, right, and center. Kids as young as 16 and 18 were making six and seven figures in record time. But now, as we stand in 2023, things have changed and things aren't as easy as they used to be. The landscape has evolved and it's left people wondering, does dropshipping still have the potential that it used to once have? So let's explore the challenges it faces and why people think it's dead. So here are the four main reasons why people hate on dropshipping and why people think it's dead. The first thing is the long shipping times. Shipping from China can lead to extended delivery times, which means you can get disputes, chargebacks, and unhappy customers. However, in my experience, it's not as bad as people make it out to be. Now, yes, if you are sending a product from China to let's say South Africa, using one of the slowest shipping times, yes, it's going to take a long time. However, it very much depends on the country that you are shipping to. For example, inside of AliExpress, if you ship to United Kingdom, some suppliers offer 10 day delivery. The thing that puts most people off is the estimated delivery date on the AliExpress product page. Now, this estimated date is the absolute worst case scenario for that supplier. The reason why they put that on there is so that you don't open up a dispute on their profile. Now, you only want to be using AliExpress to test and validate a product. Once you've tested and validated a product, you then want to switch to using a private agent so that you can get a cheaper price and also faster shipping, which would lead to happier customers. The truth is most people are willing to wait for their product, providing that the product that they receive is of good quality. And that leads me onto point number two. Unfortunately, the word dropshipping is synonymous with cheap Chinese products. And I've been around the block enough to know that if you sell cheap quality products, you are not going to make any money and the any money that you do make will be short-lived. A lot of newbies try a quick cash grab and don't realize until they absolutely get banned off every single platform. They get a ton of disputes, they get a ton of chargebacks, and their Facebook feedback score plummets to zero, meaning that they can't even advertise on the platform. The truth is, in 2023, you can't get away with selling cheap quality products. You always have to check that this is not going to haunt you later on. Now, in order to do that, the best thing that you can do is if you're looking at an AliExpress supplier, you need to make sure that they have a positive rating of at least 95% or above. Another thing you want to do is check out the reviews and then go and find a similar product on Amazon and have a look at their reviews as well. This is going to give you an idea of whether or not the product is of cheap quality or it's actually worth testing out. You can still successfully drop ship in 2023. It just means that you have to take a little bit more time in your product selection process. Now, another reason why people say drop shipping is dead is due to the low margin. Typically, if you're drop shipping, you can expect anything from 15 to 30% profit margin if you're using paid ads like Facebook and TikTok. However, if you are going down the organic route and not using paid ads, then you can get a profit margin as high as 50%. The unfortunate truth is most people suck at running ads. They don't understand the fundamentals that make a good ad. So they just spam test and hope that something works and burn through money. They end up spending money on products that never had any profit in it from the start. In short, they were never gonna make any money anyway. You only wanna be selling and testing products that you can mark up three to five X, especially if you're using paid 
paid ads. If you understand this part and you also understand how to do funnel optimizations and increase your average order value, you will make a profit. The fourth and one of the biggest myths out there with dropshipping is that there's too much competition. After all, if anyone and their dog can get a Shopify store up and running in 24 hours, then surely isn't it saturated? This couldn't be further from the truth. People forget that dropshipping is only just a fulfillment model. What you're actually doing is e-commerce and that is increasing every single year and it's due to hit 7.4 trillion by 2025. You literally just need a minute percentage of that to get rich. Most people who think that dropshipping is oversaturated and there's too much competition have a scarce mindset. In order to have success in this game, you need to develop a mindset of abundance. Competition is a good thing. If people are selling in the niche, it means that someone is making money. You don't have to reinvent the wheel or try and find the next money making scheme that no one else is doing. There's millions of products, there's millions of people and there's millions of niches. The opportunities are truly infinite. So how can you win in 2023 if you're looking to get started with dropshipping? Like I've mentioned, I've generated multiple millions with dropshipping stores over the years and currently still have stores doing anything from five to seven K per day. So let me reveal to you exactly how you can do it. The first thing you need to do is you need to build a branded concept store. The days of the spammy looking 2017 general store are not going to work. A concept store has a generic branded name that means absolutely nothing but could be applied to any product. This allows you to test out one or three products at a time and if it doesn't work then you can literally just remove it from the store. If it does work then you have the option to then pivot into a niche store or a one product store. Concept stores are only there just to test the concept of the product. These will give you a higher conversion rate and look much better. You also need to stop copying other dropshippers. It's literally like crabs in a bucket. Instead, what you need to do is you need to focus on what some of the top big brands are doing. You gotta remember that these guys have spent all of the money on CRO and optimizing everything. They know what they are doing. So focus on those and seeing how they structure their product pages and get inspiration from those guys rather than other cheap tacky dropshippers. The next thing you need to do is stop spam testing. If you're randomly throwing products at the wall, hoping and praying that something is going to stick, you are going to go broke and lose a ton of money. Instead of testing out five products a day, you need to be putting at least five times the effort into every single product that you test out. Like I've mentioned earlier in this video, you need to make sure that you're only testing products that have enough margin inside of it. Meaning that if you can't three to five X the cost of the product, it doesn't make sense to you to even test it out. So if you find a product and it costs you to ship and buy the product $10, you need to be selling it for at least 30 to $50 so that you have enough margin inside of the product when it comes to scaling. The final thing is having a better customer experience, meaning you need to choose your suppliers wisely. Remember, you only wanna be using AliExpress just to test and validate a product. From that, you then need to switch into using a private agent. Remember, you can also implement that customer reassurance flow as well, so that you're not leaving your customers in the dark. If you implement all of these things that I've mentioned, there is no reason why you cannot profit and make significant amount of money dropshipping in 2023. So the question stands, is dropshipping dead in 2023? Well, yes it is if you're still relying on old methods and looking for a quick cash grab. But if you actually know what you're doing and you do things the right way, dropshipping is far from dead. In fact, it's actually better than ever. Remember, dropshipping is just a fulfillment method. It's been around before Shopify and Facebook even existed and it will continue to exist forever. Those who do things the right way, take action and have some common sense, will be rewarded and those who try it out for a day, fail and then complain will always continue to call dropshipping a scam. If you want my personal help to help you start and scale your own dropshipping store, then click the link and apply for my coaching mentorship down below to see if you'd be a good fit. Don't forget to smash a like on this video for the algorithm and subscribe to the channel. I am trying to hit 100,000 subscribers on the channel this year, so help your boy out. But that is it for this video. Take care and I will see you in the next one.